Welcome back to the channel guys and today we're gonna get right into it. We are going to do a city versus city. Long Beach versus South LA. So when I say South LA, we're talking about the 10 freeway below 110 to the west side, just above the 405, because LA is a big place. Yeah. So we're comparing Long Beach to South LA. Let's go ahead and get into it. Let's go. So welcome back guys. Today, again, as Ian mentioned earlier, we're gonna be comparing LA, more specifically South LA, to Long Beach, California, guys. So let's start out by telling people where exactly Long Beach is in, in, you know, in reference to LA. Yeah, yeah, so Long Beach in reference to LA is just north of the cities like Paramount, Compton, and just east of let's say Harbor City, mm -hmm. uh, San Pedro type of area. Okay. And then west on the other side would be Orange County. You know, places like Hawaiian Gardens, mm -hmm. uh, Seal Beach, stuff like that. Okay. So if, and if I was traveling from city center LA, how long would it take me to get to Long Beach? Ooh, depending on the traffic. I would say about 45 minutes on average. Okay, yeah. okay. That's another thing, guys. Things can, they can, on the map, they'll say they're 10 miles away, <laughs> but it doesn't account for the traffic, okay? Mm -hmm. When you're looking at these cities, definitely, definitely, definitely um, ask us, you know, uh, how far it actually is from where you need to be, okay? We've told the people where, you know, in relation to the map, where these places are. So let's get into it. Amenities, like if I was going on a date night with the wife, what would I do in Long Beach? Yeah, Long Beach. So if you're going on a date night with the wifey or whoever, trying to figure out what you can do in Long Beach, you mm -hmm. can literally do anything in Long Beach. I mean, okay. if you want to go to the art museum, there's plenty of art museums. Oh. There's an aquarium. Okay, yeah. Right? Get yep. you a little sea life in there. Yep. Um, different dive bars, different places. You want to go rock climbing. <laughs> there's places in Long okay. Beach where you can go rock climbing. So there's nothing short of entertainment yeah. in Long Beach. Okay, and what about South LA? So South LA. So South LA compared to Long Beach, there's not as much. South LA is more, there's more of communities, housing in South LA. There is mm -hmm. one strip right off of uh, Crenshaw, right? Where you can have, you know, food, entertainment, things of that sort. But as far as like the wild stuff, like mm -hmm. archery or <laughs> axe throwing, mm -hmm. axe throwing or yeah. bowling, you know, it, it South LA doesn't have that much type of stuff. Man, South LA sounds sad. <laughs> <laughs> not, not that sad, not too sad. <laughs> All right, okay, okay. So since you didn't poo poo it on South LA, let's <laughs> let's hope that South LA can make a comeback here. We're gonna right? make so a comeback. Let's hope South LA can make a comeback. So what about amenities? Like what does Long Beach have to offer versus South LA? As far as amenities. So Long Beach, as far as amenities, mm -hmm. has the beach, right? Long Beach. Or... Long Beach. <laughs> <laughs> it has, you know, hiking trails along the beach. Mm -hmm. It has parks. It has a few places where you can go fishing, stuff like that. Okay. So it has a lot of amenities. Okay. South LA. Not as oh. much amenities <laughs> <laughs> as Long Beach, right? In South LA, um, you have football in South LA. Okay. Right? Inglewood would be a part of that South LA. So you okay. have the stadium. So around the stadium, you there are cas casinos. Yep. There are other restaurant styles. Once again, the stadium would be um, an amenity. I mean, that's the stadium a is a amenity. huge amenity. Yeah. And football. the Clippers. And the Clippers yeah. stadium. And right? the Clippers. Yeah. yeah. That's a huge amenity. Okay. Okay. Right? Cool. Uh, that is the amenity. That's the amenity. Redemption. <laughs> that is Redemption. The amenity, right. Yeah. Right. Because you can't get that in Long Beach. Okay, you've basically talked Long Beach up, right? Mm -hmm. So what are yes. the what's the medium home price in LA versus um, Long Beach versus South LA? Yes, that's where LA wins. Okay, that's where South LA wins. Okay. So the median home price in South LA would be somewhere around six eighty. Okay, so we've gone. We can go as low as five fifty mm -hmm. in LA. We've seen some places out there. Yeah, that's course, gonna be a fixer. Yeah, definitely gonna be a fixer. <laughs> <laughs> and then the higher end, you know, of course, the million dollar properties. Whereas to Long Beach, you know, the entry level mm -hmm. as far as single families is going to be somewhere around 620. Okay. Right? The average is going to be about 800,000 okay. in Long Beach. So okay. a little bit more affordability in right. South LA. But I mean, it sounds like there's a lot going on down in Long Beach. 
There's a lot going on in Long Beach. Yeah. What else should they know about Long Beach versus South LA? Yeah, so I would say as far as travel, mm -hmm. I, I feel like South LA wins. You know, South LA has the, the LAX airport, yes. which is huge. A lot of international flights, a lot of affordable flights come out of LAX. It is a little bit congested. So. Extremely congested. <laughs> so if you're trying to make a flight in 30 minutes, good luck. <laughs> uh, whereas too, on the flip side, uh, Long Beach has an airport where you yep. can just get in and get out. There's been plenty of times where I pulled up to Long Beach, passed through TSA, mm -hmm. I'm waiting for my flight in 20 minutes and less, yeah. right? Whereas you can't do that in LAX. You can't. Yeah. Um, so you definitely have to plan ahead. So that's, as far as, the travel, the broad scheme of traveling, you can you can have a lot more flights in LA, but as far as the comfortability and how smoothly you get through those lanes, mm -hmm. Long Beach has the cake on that one. Yep. And then the last question, give me some prominent like neighborhoods in Long Beach and then the same thing in South LA. Yeah, so prominent neighborhoods in El South LA would be like Hancock Park. Okay. Right. Hancock Park is a traditional neighborhood, a historical neighborhood. A lot of senators, you know, congressmen, a lot of local big players live in Hancock Park. Mm -hmm. Beautiful homes, big homes. We have the Windsor Hills, View Park, Ladera mm. Heights, Baldwin Hills, okay. all in South LA, right? That's yes. big money right big there. Big money. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Big money, big money areas, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So those are known as you know predominantly the higher net worth of black people in those areas you know mm -hmm. i want to say in the nation actually that live in those types of neighborhoods nice you know what i'm saying so south la has very prestigious neighborhoods okay They're really good now as far as long beach long beach has neighborhoods like alamitos heights mm -hmm. right a little bit closer to the water yep um bigsby knolls yep which is the nicer yeah. one of the nicer parts of north long beach mm -hmm. right and then we have places near, shoot, I forgot to mention, Long Beach has um, Cal State Long Beach. So the neighborhoods around South Cal State Long Beach, beautiful. Really nice, yeah. Gorgeous, right? So there are those are the prominent neighborhoods in those types of cities. Awesome, awesome. Well, guys, actually you gotta choose, right? I asked him in the beginning which one <laughs> he, he, he liked the most. That's why we wanted to give you guys the information so that you can choose. But if you guys need further direction, do us a favor, shoot us a call, send us a text, drop us an email, or go ahead and screenshot that number right there below. And we would love to continue the conversation, guys. So till next time, Property Brothers, out. We're out. I'm asking the questions here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is your show, my bad, go ahead, man.